Right now at 10, an ordinance on short-term rentals is near the finish line. Owners say their properties are improving the city. And Hunter Biden indicted. The president's son is accused of evading federal taxes on money he made in his work for foreign companies. Plus personal resilience. Speakers sharing insights in how to overcome stress and anxiety in a complicated world. Watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. And I'm Emily Brown. Well, today, various projects across the La Crosse School District were awarded Gold Star grants from the La Crosse Public Education Foundation. 14 different totaling $34,000. The La Crosse Public Education Foundation has been awarding grants throughout the district since 1988. Since then, they have delivered over a million dollars. Donors for these grants come from all over the community, including different companies and individuals who support the La Crosse Public Education Foundation. The executive director of the Public Education Foundation says it feels great to be awarding these grants in person. Grant Delivery Day is always so, so exciting. These teachers are creative and they are involved and they are committed and they take time to dream up projects and write grant proposals that they know are going to make an impact in their students' learning. Staff in the school district or organizations that partner with the district can apply for grants through a simple application process. The next grant awarding ceremony will be next February. Personal resilience was the focus of a wellness event held tonight at the Nature Place. The organization Better Together invited the public to hear speakers from the Resilient Option Program. They shared insights on how to overcome stress and, and anxiety in a problematic world. They explored ways to help people manage busy schedules, deal with significant life changes, and overcome everyday challenges while working and raising a family. One speaker from the evening says the timing for this event couldn't have been any better. We are uh, entering the holidays. There's just a lot going on in the world right now, and so a lot of people are feeling a lot of stress and anxiety. Following the event, guests were treated to a copy of the best-selling book by Oprah Winfrey, What Happened to You? Conversations on Trauma, Resilience, and Healing. A literal sign of the times. The Onalaska Area Historical Society unveiling a new sign showing a Black River waterfront throughout the years. The sign called Onalaska Past and Present shows a panoramic photo of the Black River as it is now. Imposed on the image are black and white photos of what used to be on the waterfront at one time, like sawmills and a wagon bridge. The group's treasurer explains what this achievement means to the group. We're real happy. Uh, that's, that's our purpose as a historical society is to, to bring these things out so the public can look at it and, and learn. Pishke says the project started back in February and it can be found at the Great River Landing in Onalaska. Today's unveiling followed by coffee and cookies at a nearby museum. Well, what an embarrassment of temperature riches behind <laughs> Greg. Oh, it felt like September again. Well, pretty close, but yeah. uh, we got one more day of it and then yeah, back to reality really for December. But yeah, uh, Eau Claire hit the record high today. It was kind of a low record high at 49, so it wasn't too much to break that. Otherwise, La Crosse hit 53, but their record was much higher. Overall, there's your observed temperatures almost getting to the upper 50s further west, but all in all, a very nice, pleasant mid-December, well, early December day. Out to the west, current temperatures right now are pretty much in the 40s to 30s. We've held steady in the upper 30s to low 40s, so still quite mild out there. We do have a warm front just to the south that's associated with a system that will bring eventually a cold front through. The one thing with this is not going to bring much in the way of precipitation until we get to like Saturday with the system, but it will provide more cloud cover and some wind that will start picking up tomorrow. But tomorrow morning, it's going to be actually mild, upper 30s to wake up. We'll get right up to 50 degrees with increasing high clouds by this afternoon with that southwest wind picking up a little bit as that front kind of slides through the area. Once again, for La Crosse, 38 also and all the way to the 50s as we get closer to noon. The good thing we do have some snow. You might be thinking we haven't seen a lot of snow. Well, compared to last year, it's not really not that far off. But we might be adding a little bit to this come Saturday or Saturday night. And I'll break down if that's going to pose any travel impacts, as well as what the temperatures look like going into next week. All that a bit later in the broadcast. All right. Sounds like a plan. Thank, Thank you, Greg. You, Greg. A lacrosse ordinance regulating short-term rentals is a vote away from being official. Earlier this fall, we showed you how some residents oppose Airbnb rentals in city neighborhoods. But owners say their properties help make communities better. 
Right. Rob Walensky and his wife rent out four properties on La Crosse's south side through Airbnb. I had some people that were in town for business. Um, had some people that were in for some of the festivals, River Fest, October Fest. Customers book for anything from a few hours to a few months. And if there's ever an issue, he's picking up the phone. We do all the maintenance. We do all the, the shoveling and the mowing and the raking. They pay their taxes, income, property, and the city's occupancy tax that comes out of every booking. City officials say they need a general ordinance because some owners are not properly licensed with the state to rent. The current ordinance proposal would have everyone wanting to rent pay a $100 license fee each year. And if some properties are disruptive, residents can file formal complaints. This week, the city added two new details. First, anyone applying for a license has to alert any neighbors within 100 feet. I have no issue with that because I would do that anyways because I don't want problems at my place. I don't want them disturbing anybody. And second, a property manager has to be within 30 miles of the building being rented. Some residents want more regulation because they believe short-term rentals cause neighborhood disruption. Owners like Walensky say they take pride in their properties and their neighborhoods. It's why he rebuilt this house on 9th Street. Instead of them having another problem person rent a dilapidated house, now it's remodeled and it really kind of lightened up that area. Walensky hopes the public can see how owners who are going by the book are making a positive difference. Even if we get some bad people that move in next to him in an Airbnb, they're probably going to be gone in a day or two. If I sell it to some bad people who are, you know, a pain in the butt for, they could be years. The city says short-term rentals make up less than 1% of La Crosse's housing. The amended ordinance will be going before the full Common Council on December 14th. Earlier this week, a Dane County judge ruled the 1849 Wisconsin abortion ban does not apply to consensual abortions. Within a day of the, deci de the decision, one of the defendants on the case, Sheboygan County District Attorney Joel Ermanski, filed an appeal. But appealing to the state Supreme Court, could yield the opposite effect Ermanski is hoping for. The balance of the state Supreme Court recently shifted in favor of liberals this year with the election of Justice Janet Protasiewicz. And abortion has been a key electoral issue for Democratic voters in recent elections. Should the state Supreme Court agree with Dane County that the 1849 ban does not apply to consensual abortions, then the decision applies to the entire state. A federal grand jury in California has indicted Hunter Biden late tonight on nine federal counts. He's accused of evading federal taxes on money he made in his work for foreign companies. The grand jury's 56-page indictment made public tonight comes in addition to federal firearms charges previously brought against the president's son in Delaware. The charges focus on at least $1.4 million in taxes Hunter Biden owed between 2016 and 2019. There also appears that there will be evidence that Hunter Biden engaged in, to use the, their words, an extravagant lifestyle. And so there's a kind of logs, tables um, in the indictment that indicate that there will be evidence presented that he spent a lot of money on clothes, on education, on cars, on housing. And what they will then say, according to the indictment, is he absolutely had the money to pay. Biden's attorney issued a statement saying in part, quote, based on the facts and the law, if Hunter's last name was anything other than Biden, the charges in Delaware and now California would not have been brought. If convicted, Hunter Biden could face up to 17 years in prison. Ceremonies were held around the nation to commemorate the deadly bombing of Pearl Harbor 82 years ago today. The attack killed more than 2,300 service members, launching the United States into World War II. A 21-bell salute for the fallen was held at the National World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. The GET marching band is playing the Pearl Harbor Memorial Parade in Hawaii, which is happening right now. We have a live stream of that parade on our website, News well, some hardworking elves are making sure kids less fortunate receive a Christmas gift. More details after the break. Toyota Thon is on. Time to make the holidays picture perfect with a new Toyota. We're going to need a bigger tree. Get 3.99% APR plus $1,000 cash back on Tacoma when you finance through Toyota Financial Services. Toyota, let's go places. 
When you're looking to update your home, shop the Habitat Restore. The Habitat Restore offers a wide selection of new and gently used building materials and home furnishings at an incredibly low price. From furniture and cabinets, windows and doors, appliances, vintage items, reclaimed lumber, and everything in between. The Restore has what you're looking for, and new products arrive daily. So before you run to that big box store, shop the Habitat Restore, providing families with a place to call home. Get ready to save some money because it's still going on. The King Furniture Total Renovation Sale with hundreds of recliners, motion furniture, bedroom furniture, and more. All drastically reduced. Over $2 million of quality name brand furniture at incredible prices. Like these Lazy Boy recliners starting at just $2.99. Queen mattresses starting at $3.49. Reclining sofas starting at an incredible $6.99. Do not miss the King Furniture Total Renovation Sale. Toyota-thon is on! Make your holidays a little more magical with a new Toyota. Come in today! Get $1,000 cash back on your favorite models when you finance through Toyota Financial Services. Toyota, let's go places. A group of Cooley Region elves are doing their part to make Christmas a little more special for some kids in the region. Next week, more than 50 kids at Family and Children's Center in La Crosse, an agency strengthening families and promoting individual well-being, will be receiving a very special and unique gift. News and now's Jeremy Wall joining us live in studio with more on how these kids will get to experience the joy of the holidays. Jeremy. Yeah, Ken and Emily, according to the elves, the kids at Family and Children's Center aren't as fortunate as others, so they decided to make dinosaurs on wheels to make sure every kid has a gift for Christmas. For more than 20 years, group members Scott Cooper and Kurt Grunewald have been making toys for kids. We were volunteering um, at the Salvation Army and they were giving away like used toys for kids and we thought it'd be cool if the kids could get some new toys and we were both woodworkers so we thought that was something we could do. Since then, the guys have spent each year making sure kids less fortunate receive a gift for Christmas. You know, everybody knows there's kids who uh, don't get much for Christmas and uh, we wanted them to get something new and handmade for Christmas. Every year, the elves try to create something new. They begin working on the toys in the fall. And next week, 52 dinosaurs on wheels will be in the hands of some very lucky kids. Well, we were uh, just looking through toys we hadn't made before. We decided we wanted to make kind of like a little push-pull toy for kids. And we knew kids like dinosaurs, so we found some plans for them and it made them. Every year we've made a different kind of toy. We've made um, castles, we've made um, Trucks, every, everything with any, pretty much anything with wheels, trucks, planes, trains, automobiles. Even during some of the most challenging times, including COVID-19, the elves found ways to stay creative. During the pandemic, we, we uh, made desks and that wasn't exactly at Christmas time. And it was a bigger project. Usually we we're just making little toys that year. We were making desks, so it was more involved. But these guys say the most important part of this tradition is giving back to those less fortunate and knowing that they're putting smiles on kids' faces. And the gifts will be delivered next Friday at 9 in the morning to the La Crosse Family and Children's Center. Ken and Emily? All right, thank you, Jeremy. Dinosaurs on wheels, who'd have thought? I know, good <laughs> project. Well, an important warning to parents and caregivers tonight to be aware of magnetic balls in some toy sets. Federal safety regulators are recalling the toys, which can be deadly if swallowed. Yeah, we got a temperature drop coming with the 30s coming back by Saturday, Sunday and Monday, but we do have some rain or snow in the forecast that may impact some of your weekend plans. I'll break down when to expect the snow, how much we might get, all that in your first warm weather update after the break. Craving authentic Mexican flavors? Look no further than Senor Villa. At Senor Villa, we bring the taste of Mexico to your table every day. Join us for our unbeatable $5 lunch specials packed with flavor and value. And don't miss our nightly specials where the fiesta never ends. Senor Villa, where great food meets great value. Visit us today. Senor Villa, the taste of Mexico you've been craving. The gift of relaxation and pampering 
is the perfect gift to give this holiday season. It is the Sue Colvies experience, the gift your special someone is really hoping for, and the gift she really deserves. Order your gift cards online today at suecolvies.com or pick them up at Sue Colvies Salon and Day Spa because she deserves the very best. Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Christmas sale is going on now. We're your one-stop shop for the holidays with unbeatable deals on all your festive favorites. Like assorted Blaine's brand baking ingredients, 20% off. Special buy printed or solid throws, $12.99. This Blaine's shop stool, only $99.99. And this 25-piece Craftsman screwdriver set, just $29.99. Plus, now through Saturday, rewards members get a free $10 gift card for every $100 spent. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Are record energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive in the blistering heat of summer or the bitter cold of winter. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.kwwf.org. Attention seniors, be safe with your affordable tub to shower conversion or enjoy an all new bathroom. Contact the Board Store Home Improvements today for a prompt free estimate. High quality at lower prices. Well, tonight, parents and caregivers make sure to check your pantries. That's right. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services is advising anyone with the following brands of applesauce to throw them out. Recalls for Wanabana apple cinnamon fruit puree pouches, as well as Schnucks cinnamon flavored applesauce pouches, Schnucks applesauce variety pack, and Weiss cinnamon applesauce pouches. The FDA says these brands were found to have harmful levels of lead in them. Along with the recall, the FDA is also investigating Ostro Foods, which is the facility in Ecuador where the applesauce is packaged. Several states have already reported cases of lead poisoning from the applesauce, and Wisconsin has three suspected cases that are under investigation. The Consumer Product Safety Commission has recalled more than 700 units of the colorful metal mag magnetic balls from Express Goods. You should immediately take them from children and contact the company for a refund. The agency says if swallowed, the magnetic balls can attract to each other and become lodged in the digestive system. This can result in perforations, blockage of the intestines, blood poisoning, and even death. Well, if next year were a color, which would it be? Hmm. Good question, right? I don't know. I just well, thought of it. Okay. <laughs> the answer, peach fuzz, hmm. according to Pantone Color Institute. All right. Its self-proclaimed color experts describe the hue as peaceful and serene. They call it a warm, cozy, and even tactile answer to the world's turmoil. It's also in, very in, with fashion designers and Hollywood stars. Pantone says it uses psychology to pick a top color each year. If you ask me what past year colors were, I would no have clue. absolutely no idea. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it was very serene the way you read that. Thank like, you. We Thank all should you. wear it next year to calm everyone down. Yes, <laughs> okay. it, it will be quite a year next year. You right. can already feel it. Yeah. All right, but in the meantime, hope you got uh, outside at least a little bit today because things were feeling gosh darn good. But mm -hmm. of course, this is December, not going to last forever, Greg. Nope, but we got one more day if you want to get out and enjoy it. We should be in the 50s tomorrow. In fact, we're going to be fairly warm tonight. Shouldn't be any records because it is a little bit higher tomorrow, but overall it's going to be another well above average temperature. Speaking of the temperatures overnight, upper 30s, low 40s. We probably won't go down much in the way the temperatures are currently, so it's going to be a warm kind of start for your day. We're going to have a lot more cloud cover coming in. We do have that front that's going to slide south, but all that's really going to do is just increase the winds and turn them a little bit to the south 
to more to the west as we go in the afternoon. Now, as we get to the late afternoon, evening, we're going to start seeing clouds begin to thicken. That system will po start pulling some moisture up to the area. This shouldn't be reaching the ground yet, but we might see a few showers as we get closer to this time tomorrow night, mainly for southeast viewers as that lifts north, but uh, still fairly mild temperatures. Now, regarding the system, it's two systems we're kind of watching, and right now they're both fairly weak. This is the one I just showed you, bringing moisture up. Really weak one that will provide some rain as we go through Friday night. Not all areas will see that. And then on the back side coming through Saturday is going to be the cold front. You can see the snow with that beginning to push into the area. That will be probably Saturday morning for western viewers. And then across the area for the remaining part of Saturday into Saturday night with some light accumulation with that. And then the winds will begin to pick up. The temperatures that you see begin to fall too. So we'll be below freezing by the time we get to Saturday night and into early Sunday. So overall, we can say a little bit of rain tomorrow night. All areas won't see it. A low in precipitation. Some areas may be dry for a piece of a Saturday, and then the snow begins to pick up. Just minor accumulation Saturday and Saturday night. The one thing to look at, the roads would probably might be an issue come Saturday night, early Sunday, if we have any moisture, because the temperatures will fall below freezing. But once we get past that point, we're not going to see much in the problem. Now, really, if you look at greater than two inches, it's very low probability, and most of that now is centered further to the north. So if we get any amounts, it'll probably be less than an inch. Maybe some areas up towards Ladysmith might get a little bit more, but once again, it's not going to be a big system that we can speak of. But for tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures once again in the low 50s. We'll see that wind begin to pick up after the warm start. We might even see a few 50s as you go further south, as the front will take a little bit longer to get down there. Up to the north, same similar story. Low to mid 50s for most of the locations and up towards Ladysmith, they'll see the clouds and the front come through. The winds will be west, so maybe they not quite get to that 50 degree mark, but still overall very mild thing for a mild day for the almost the first part of now or middle of December. That rain snow comes in Friday night into early Saturday and then maybe snow coming Saturday into Sunday. Like I said, light accumulation possible as we go into Saturday into Saturday night and then it gets quite chilly as we get down. Oh, chilly compared to what we're right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 34 on Sunday, and then the rest of the week looks fairly nice. We might even bump back up to the 40s towards the end. Mm, okay. So overall, just Saturday, Saturday night, keep an eye on that. Shouldn't be a huge deal. Otherwise, it'll be, you know, enjoy the 50 mile. All right. All right, we will. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> Coming up next in sports, the Bucks are just two wins away from an in-season championship, plus a busy night for many of our high school athletes on the ice, the court, and the mat. Rob is next. We're celebrating 100 years of business here at Wesco and Sparta. 100 years of furniture. 100 years of appliances. 100 years of mattresses. 100 years of flooring and windows. We'd like to say thank you to our customers by giving up to 23% off everything in the store. Wesco and Sparta, where white glove delivery and setup are always free. Thank you from 1923 to 2023. And tell them Peyton sent you. It's a robotic money expert. Clever. How do I start a savings habit? Famous cabbage. Savings habit. Shaving rabbits. Tech can make life simpler, but when it comes to savings habits, nothing's as simple as BMO. A BMO savings account helps you build the habit with a cash reward every month you save. Cash reward? Ingenious. Sardine fest. This year's top prize goes to BMO. I'm just in it for the saving. But it's nice to be recognized. BMO. We've got you. It's a pledge to make sure you're always taken care of. A pledge that your Touchstone Energy Cooperative honors each and every day. When it comes to keeping things running smoothly or getting them back on track when they're not, we've got you. Always. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. Covering all of the exciting action from your community. Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. The winter sports season could not be any busier. We had action on the ice, conference play tipping off on the court. But we're going to start the show on the mat. West Salem Gymnastics Co-op finished as the D2 runner-up last season. They traveled to Holman for a triangular meet. 
Let's start on the beam. West Salem's Morgan Seichert is going to score an 8.7 right here. She wins the beam competition, finishes first in all-around scoring. Love that. Over to the vault, Holman's Maya Amundsen scores an 8.1. That's good enough for a third. Now to the uneven bars. First, it's Holman's Katie Lang. She scores an 8.725. She finishes in second place. Staying on the bars, West Salem's Natalie Peterson scores an 8.575. West Salem Co-op wins it. Holman finishes in second. Over to boys basketball, a good one in West Salem. Panthers welcoming fifth ranked on Alaska. Second half, what a battle from the corner. West Salem's Nathan Dillaber is going to bury the three. Panthers take a 52-51 lead. On Alaska keeping pace, Hilltoppers Noah Chenault driving the lane, going off the glass for two. Hilltoppers now up by three. West Salem keeps battling. Tamari and Henderson driving the lane, getting the tough bucket to fall. Panthers down by two. But on Alaska starts to build a lead. Quick passing sets up Ian Cole in the corner for three. Yes, sir. Hilltoppers go up seven. On Alaska wins it 76 to 68. Let's go to Aquinas. Conference play tipping off for two MVC rivals. Blue Golds hosting Logan. Rangers down seven early second half, but Johnny Lever gets his squad two points closer. That cuts it to five. But on the other end, Jonathan Skemp showing off the range. He drains the corner three. Lead back up to eight. Rangers not going away though. And again, it's Lever getting fed down low. He puts it in. Logan within seven. But the Blue Golds hit another gear and it's Tanner Peterson. Spotting up from downtown, he's money. Blue Golds go up by 10, then it's Trey Barr taking over off the steel. Barr taking it all the way to the cup for the score, but the junior was just getting started again. It's Barr down the middle, he gets the teardrop to fall, and Barr a one-man wrecking crew in the second half. Count this one, plus the foul. Blue Golds begin conference play with the win, 80 to 60. Let's hit the ice in La Crescent. Lancers hosting Toma Sparta. And the home team picking up right where it left off Tuesday night. First period, Ethan Myrie cleaning up the mess. Great effort from the junior. He gets rewarded for it. Lancers go up one. Other end, Titans looking for the equalizer. But Charlie Weezer says not tonight. The sophomore earns his first varsity win between the pipes. Lancers get the victory 7-3. to three. Let's go to the volleyball court in Madison. Badgers hosting regional action at the Fieldhouse. Wisconsin looking to avenge its regular season loss against Penn State. First set, all Badgers, 25-11. Wisconsin would hit a roadblock in the second. They drop a heartbreaker, 30-28, to but they bounce back nicely. They win the next two sets, and Wisconsin is moving on. Badgers win it in four. They're moving on to the Elite Eight, and they'll host the regional final on Saturday. Bucks in Vegas looking to advance to the finals of the in-season tournament. They were taking on the Pacers. Indiana up 12 at the break, but Milwaukee making a run in the third. Dame from downtown puts the Bucks up two, but the Pacers punch right back. Obi Toppin is going to throw it down. Indiana goes up one. Then with less than six to play, it's Miles Turner with the flush right here. Pacers will take a three-point lead. And then with less than a minute to go, it's the Wisconsin native. Boo! Tyrese Halliburton with the dagger. Indiana goes up eight. Pacers are moving on to the in-season championship game. They get the win, 128 to 119. But I don't want to downplay it. Mm -hmm. It's just the in-season tournament. That's right. We got bigger fish to fry. We're worried about real championships exactly. here exactly in the can, badger state Love we can that. blame the color of the court too that was mm. distracting Distract right yeah, yeah. yeah. and all the <laughs> courts process? have been like that yeah. it's yeah. very bizarre okay. i don't know if they're going to stay this way for the next foreseeable future but it is something not. else i don't like it the pacers one has uh, honestly been it's one of the worst, the worst. Ones. <laughs> and now of course they're about to win uh, yeah. the well the lakers turn. are up 30 so i think they're probably going to win on saturday but we'll <sighs> see it should be a fun game i know and all the lebron fans are going to love another accolade for lebron <laughs> exactly. james <I> love it. <laughs> all right rob thanks very much you got it. all right we'll be right back after this how will you reward yourself with the benefits you'll get from riverbank's rewards checking a morning pick-me-up a leisurely round a special dinner or an evening pause. This checking account comes with 3.04 annual percentage yield. There's also a refund for foreign ATM transaction fees. Stop in to one of the convenient locations or visit online to learn more about Riverbank's rewards checking. Riverbank, local banking made simple. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Gather the family and join in on Perkins holiday festivities. Here, everyone can savor our new hand-cut prime rib dinner, enjoy the perfect slice of pie, and take home your favorite pie from Perkins Holiday Bake Shop. 
Now my doctor says I need an MRI. But where do I go? They're so expensive. Sensible MRI costs a few hundred, not thousands. You could fill your fridge for a year with what you save. We can get you in the next day. Think of what you could do with the time you'd save. What do you have to lose? At Sensible MRI, you choose the time you save the money. And you rest easy having your doctor refer you to Sensible MRI. Hi, I'm home. Well, let's give it a shot and see how it works. I see trouble for these two. Oh, come on, junk. Honey, I'm home. I picked us up a new vacuum and I got us some cat litter. Will he ever learn? And another one added to the pile. Honey, I'm home. And this time I went to A1 Vacuum. My hero. At Batteries Plus, we bring power to your life. Can your car battery survive another winter? Come to Batteries Plus for a great selection of auto batteries, battery testing, and installation. Pay big money in your next painting project now at Menards. Pittsburgh Grand Distinction Interior Paint is a premium paint and primer with excellent durability and comes in over 701 coat colors. A gallon is $34.87 after $5 mail-in rebate. Add a pop of color to your home with Paramount Interior Paint. It provides the most advanced protection and true one-coat coverage. A gallon of Paramount Flat Interior Paint is only $44.98. Plus, a Menards gift card is always a great gift idea. Tonight marks the first night of Hanukkah when Jewish households around the world light the first candle of the menorah. And the White House celebrated the start of the eight-day holiday with its annual tradition. Thousands of guests gathering on the Washington Ellipse for the lighting of the national menorah. The holiday has extra significance this year as war rages between Israel and Hamas and anti-Semitism is on the rise. The vice president's husband, Doug Emhoff, shared his hopes for a better future. So even as we face what feels like such empty darkness right now, I am hopeful. Look at the story of Hanukkah. The story of Hanukkah and the story of Jewish people has always been one of hope and resilience. An important perspective. We'll be right back after this. Region Woman, your area's award-winning magazine is now available. Learn how Melanin Beauty Bar owner Toya Woods helps women celebrate their sense of self. Meet Mountain Lacrosse manager Darcy Bridal. Make a stranger connection with Lisa David Olson. Learn to build a charcuterie board and spread love and awareness with the Little Hearts Project. Treat yourself this holiday season with our self gift guide. Pick up your copy at many area merchants including Woodman's, Festival Foods, and the YMCA's or go to crwmagazine.com to read online. Hi, it's Elvis Duran. Thanks for listening. I think what makes our show unique is perspective. Many different voices, many different points of view. If you're going to say don't ask me, we're going to ask you. <laughs> if you want to. Wow. We are just the family sitting around the table in the morning. Very dynamic individuals, though. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Hi, it's Elvis Duran from the Mixed Morning Show. Wake up with us every morning on Mix 96. It's time to get on the road again. Trust the family of car dealerships that's been serving Western Wisconsin for 100 years. No matter where you are, there is an Osseo Automotive location close to you. From the farm fields of the Chippewa Valley to the banks of the mighty Mississippi River. Whether you're looking for something new to drive or need service on an existing vehicle, you can count on us. Osseo Automotive is Osseo Ford and Nels Gunderson Chevrolet in Osseo, Rudy's in Whitehall, and Fountain City Ford. Check us out at OsseoAuto.com. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburgers cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's. Because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. At Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota, we're making it easier than ever to furnish your home with name brand, top quality furniture. For a limited time, you'll save with store-wide sale prices, plus 
we'll pay your sales tax. Sofas and sectionals from Smith Brothers, Lazy Boy, and Flex Steel. Bedrooms and dining rooms from Canal Dover and Daniels Amish. They're all at sale prices. And now, we'll pay your sales tax. But it's only for a limited time at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Voted your favorite furniture store. All right, we got one more day of good conditions. 53 probably for La Crosse and the uh, Eau Claire will be pretty similar, maybe up to 50. We do have a front that's going to be coming through, and then we're watching out for the rain Friday night for some, and then snow for some Saturday and Saturday night. But then getting cold, a little chilly, I guess you'd call it for Sunday. <laughs> yeah. All right, Greg, thanks so much, and thank you all for joining us. Have a nice evening.